Baby boy, you're my little baby boy, you know that? My little son. What you want for dinner tonight, son? But when he said what he said, I'm like, bro, you really got this? Are you really talking like this? That's why I said, bro, when I see you, I'm punching your sh You talking out the side of your neck, so I'ma really show you, like, what the business is. Imagine talking shit and then getting scared. What a baby. I reacted to one video, bro. And ever since then, bro, the will not get off my nut. A statement used on the internet for something that's usually unacceptable in normal society, but is excused because it was for the purpose of a YouTube video, Urban Dictionary. Yes, this was literally submitted by me. Urban Dictionary hadn't updated their definition for content in like five years, so I just submitted this onto Urban Dictionary myself. <laughs> I'm dedicated. But the start of this beef can literally be boiled down to the misinterpretation of this one word. Defining what's considered content versus what's considered literal blatant disrespect can be very tricky and can cause a lot of problems. In today's case, even in YouTube basketball, it can even get so bad that it can turn into an internet version of Southside Chicago. Okay, not actually. Obviously this is basketball and we're talking about people who are extremely financially well off, like literally driving foreign cars with camel on it, living in mansions, diamond chains, sponsorships of clothing brands. So like, you know, not Southside Chicago, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where we got one side being Nick, calling Duke Dennis every demeaning name you could possibly think of. Literally calling him a baby. I'm pretty sure Duke is older than Nick. And posting crap such as smoking on a Duke Dennis pack on his Instagram story like he just finished a drive-by shooting. How many packs? How many actual packs am I smoking on right now? This stuff is actually wild, but like this is literally over basketball. <laughs> While we got the other side being Duke, hearing this disrespect and getting pissed off. Very understandably, because you know, I would not want somebody who's not my father to call me their son either. Basic human thing right there. To the point where he's literally saying that he's gonna punch the absolute dog sh out of Nick next time he sees him. I thought it was for content at first. I thought it was for content at first, bro. But when he said what he said, I'm like, bro, you really got this? Are you really talking like this? That's why I said, bro, when I see you, I'm punching your shit, nigga. You talking out the side of your neck, so I'm gonna really show you, like, what the business is. The beef between these two is absolutely skyrocketing all over social media. Clips from different IG lives from both sides have been re-uploaded over a hundred times from different plugs. The same clips, like the exact same clips, all uploaded a hundred different times on a hundred different channels. I didn't even know there was this many plugs on the internet, like what the heck. Some of these clips are getting millions of views on TikTok and Instagram shorts alone, and the hype behind this has been crazy. Fans are absolutely going to war in the comment sections and repping which side they're on like they're literal armies. I literally saw somebody in the comment section leak somebody's address like what the f is it really that serious so how did this all start how did duke dennis who was probably just chilling on his truck listening to rod wave somewhere find himself in a beef with nick briz and how the f did this beef escalate so quickly to the point where they're literally talking about punching each other in their face and smoking on packs well that is exactly what we're going to document in this video welcome to another episode of doc up in this episode i'll be documenting the beef between youtube celebrities duke dennis and nick briz before we get into this video though if you like content like this hit that subscribe button i bring documentaries on everything that goes on in the youtube basketball community we've already just hit 4,000 subscribers in just four videos i can't thank you guys enough also hit that like button helps me on the algorithm and all that which really goes a long way considering I'm just starting out. And follow my Instagram and DM me anything that goes on in the YouTube basketball community. You guys can actually help me make these videos by DMing me everything that goes on. So hit up that Instagram, at DocUpYT. And a quick disclaimer so I don't get absolutely massacred in the comments. All information I state in this video is from YouTube videos and articles that I gathered online. Do not take what I state in this video as law. I am literally just a dude. So obviously it would be impossible for me to know everything that goes on behind the scenes. I just try my absolute best to put all the pieces together based on what's pushed out to the public. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm going to start by introducing the main people involved in this beef. First, being Duke Dennis. Duke Dennis is a YouTuber who's massive on all platforms. He has over a million subscribers on his main channel and over 600,000 subscribers on his second channel. He's known to really just be on his grind and stick with his friends and family. He's also known to get hella women. Girls go freaking crazy for this dude. Like, just look at his TikTok. You rarely see him in any type of actual beef. Oh, and he's from the hood, so he doesn't really take this YouTube beef stuff that seriously. Like I say, where I'm from, I don't really take too kindly to motherfuckers just saying a whole bunch of crazy shit when I ain't never said nothing to you. There's real beefs going on down here, but that motherfuckers is dying over, nigga. I'm not finna beef with nobody that I don't even know over the fucking internet. He's also a part of a YouTube group called AMP, arguably the fastest growing YouTube group on the planet right now. In my personal opinion, they're the best YouTube group out right now. But I'm gonna try not to be biased in this video, that's just my personal opinion. I do want to be transparent about that though. Oh my god, I know I just started a war in the comment section. Yes, I know RDC World exists. Yes, I know two hype exists yes i know freaking i don't know phase exists like live live my personal opinion Bruh. which also has a million subscribers on its own this group
group consists of six members, Duke, Kai, Davis, Phantom, Agent, and Chris, but the main people who are involved in this beef are Duke and Kai. Although AMP has enough people for a fives game, AMP doesn't play basketball as a collective at all. They make videos on basketball from time to time, but they are more of like a TV show content creator like group, and most of their content doesn't involve basketball, so they don't take basketball that serious. This is going to be important for the rest of the video, so remember this. On the other side, Nick is probably the hottest basketball YouTuber on the planet right now. Real quick, hottest means most popping. It does not mean attraction. I had somebody in the comment section try to say I was calling Nick cute, and I was like, what the heck? Like, how do you possibly not know that? Back to the video. Currently, he has over 600,000 thousand subscribers is averaging over 1 million views a video. This is the most views per video in the streetball industry right now. And honestly, Nick is known to be a hothead. Not trying to knock his grind or anything because obviously it's working, but Nick is known to just completely come after everyone who's anyone and always talk trash. And listen, Devontae can get the smoke any day of the week. Let's say something real quick to T-Jazz. Fuck you, pussy. Mikey Williams, if I saw you in real life, I would slap the fuck out of your face, boy. Nick is actually a basketball YouTuber, so he takes basketball very seriously. Every basketball game is pretty much a war to him. Hey, no, we ain't, hey, ain't shit sweet. Oh, hey, ain't what? Shit cool. And he also assembled a team of his own that he calls the Savage Squad. This team is known to just absolutely torment whoever they play against and just completely break them down with their trash talk. Nick tends to call out everyone in the YouTube basketball industry, so it's only a matter of time before Nick and AMP will cross paths. Or, at least, only a matter of time until Nick will call them out. And that is exactly what happened. So now we got the introduction out of the way, what you're here for, let's get into this beef. Weirdly enough, the start of this beef actually didn't involve Duke at all. It all started July 20th, 2021. Kai, Duke's friend and fellow AMP member, reacts to one of Nick's videos when he's playing too hype and says this. Hey child, I'ma body slam you bro. Oh, I right, you see? Right, niggas is not talking to me like that, I ain't gonna lie. I don't care. No matter if niggas see it as content, there's always that little group that see it as embarrassing. If you think you about to say that to me, yo, I swear. I ain't gonna lie. This was AMP. I'm gonna keep this stack with y'all. It would've been a fight a long time ago. If this is just strictly about basketball, but Duke will literally tee up. He will literally say, pass me the ball and not pass it. Yeah, he gonna carry me. He gonna carry me. Oh, we, we would never play these niggas. Some of Nick's fans see Kai say this and immediately sprint over to Nick's DMs to share this clip. Straight instigating. Just straight instigating. Upon being notified, Nick immediately hops on his Instagram to respond. Silly funny, like they, I guess that's what they're going for is like silly funny approach. I don't know the little things I'm hearing going around, bro, but if y'all want the fives, then run me my fucking smoke and we'll embarrass you guys. We'll fuck you guys up. We'll end you guys, your guys' five on five basketball YouTube careers. Go spam all their fucking pages. Tell them I want the fucking smoke. So obviously Nick's teed up. Not gonna lie though, the fans probably instigated this like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if fans were just straight capping to Nick's Instagram DM saying like AMP like talk trash about his mom or something like that just to get a reaction. Cause there really wasn't anything wild at all that Kai said. But regardless, from the information that Nick was given, that was Nick's response. So after hearing this, fans then go and sprint over to Duke and tell Duke that Nick was talking trash about AMP. Instigating once again. <laughs> fans have so much power, it's crazy. Keep in mind, at this point in time, Duke doesn't even know that Kai did that reaction. Throughout all this, he was probably just chilling somewhere, like, minding his own business. But Duke hears about all this commotion about Nick Briz from the fans, and he proceeds to go on Twitch Live to address whatever the ruckus is. He says this. First things first, bruh, AMP don't know Nick Nim, and Nick Nim don't know AMP. The two parties don't know each other. But, out of nowhere, Nick hit me up on Instagram. Okay, he was like, hey dude, trying to run a 5v5? I'm like, I don't have a squad, bro. AMP don't hoop, bro. I'm the only hooper in AMP. Chris fucking got a torn ACL. Kai, 35 overall. Phantom, a 38 overall. Agent, a 60 overall. And Davis is a goddamn 71. It's certain shit you say, and you, it's certain shit you don't say when you when you hoop it. And, and I don't, like I say, I don't know Nick them at all. If they was to say the wrong shit, then it wouldn't be about basketball no more. I ain't finna be disrespected by some niggas that don't even know. I was like, hey, look, bro, my, my dogs don't hoop. After just roasting the crap out of the rest of AMP's overalls, Duke essentially declines Nick's offer to play. But there's more. Now, here's a weird part right here. So, silly funny, like they, I guess that's what they're going for is like silly funny approach. But we will fuck you guys to you in a game of real basketball. We'll fuck you guys up. We'll end you guys, your guys' five on five basketball YouTube careers. Go spam all their fucking pages. Tell them I want the fucking smoke. Real quick, the chat is just absolutely berating Nick this entire time. Like, this stuff is literally armies. Like, this is, this is an army right here. It's kind of crazy to see this. Each one of these people commenting is an actual person. But back to the video. Hearing people in AMP talking shit go spam all their pages with my name, run me my fives. 
Number one, the chance that anybody in AMP was talking shit about them is highly fucking unlikely. So, obviously Duke is oblivious about what just went on with Kai's reaction, but the chat is quick to instigate and inform him on what's going on. In other words, the chat straight snitched on Kai. Just straight snitched. Just threw him under the bus. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when Duke found out, it was freaking hilarious. I can I know it wasn't me, and I know it wasn't Kai. <laughs> it was Kai. Okay. <laughs> Since it was Kai, <laughs> Kai was definitely trolling. So I can definitely understand why some of y'all weird ass niggas went back and was like, ah, oh, AMP versus me, woody woo. Now look, all of this is definitely y'all fault. Y'all niggas know, brother. Whatever Kai said, the nigga was trolling. Essentially, Duke says it's obvious that Kai just be joking around and that y'all fans are some instigators. And he pretty much implies that everyone just wants to see a fight. This reminds me of when you're at school and like two kids start yelling at each other in the halls and everybody gathers around them. And then there's those kids that are like, you just gonna let them do that to you? Or what let that happen to me though? And like, you know, all that. Just trying to get them to fire off on each other for their amusement. But after calling this behavior weird, Duke goes on to address what Nick said in his video. Now, since my dog did say something, I really didn't like what he said right here. Silly funny, like they, I guess that's what they're going for is like silly funny approach. Hey, hey, look, 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 AMP, man, look, we on top, baby. It ain't nothing like, I guess that's what they going for, silly funny nigga, bro. We the motherfucking best group out here. We running shit, you know what I'm saying? We, we doing our motherfucking thing, so don't try to sugarcoat, don't try to downplay nothing that we got going on. Like I say, I don't, I don't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Again, me no harm. And that's what it was, but boy, from the from the looks of it, from the sound of it, it kind of sounded like you were trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, AMP, we doing our shit. You know what I'm saying? We in our own lane. And to be honest, bro, it ain't nobody really fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? So, goddamn, you stay in your lane, we'll stay in all. Essentially, Duke said, hey now, I feel you, but don't be disrespecting us. You trying to downplay what we do, and I don't like that. You stay in your lane, and we'll stay in ours. He then goes on to admit that Nick's team would beat AMP, and also say a couple things back to Nick. If Nick them heard that AMP was talking shit, we wasn't. It ain't no doubt that them niggas would beat us in basketball, bro. We don't fucking play basketball, bro. Hell, y'all take basketball that serious. Goddamn, go try out for G League and the D League and the NBA. And got y'all should have went to college if y'all care about basketball that goddamn much. He ends it by commenting everything cool in the comment section. And he probably just assumed that it would be over just like that. So Nick hears about Duke's response and proceeds to post this on his story. July 27th, 2021. A couple days later, Duke and Kai are just chilling on stream. The Nick Bridge situation comes up and they just laugh about it. They're obviously not worried about it and they're just doing their own thing. Chat, was I talking shit or was I giving my general opinion? I was saying, these niggas is bugging, they can't speak to me like that. Like shit like that. Oh yeah. Like shit like that. Like, mm. I, I was like, yo, if that was us, then like, nah, I'm saying she would've went left, but. Ain't no smoke. Do I look like a ball player? Now fast forward two days to July 29th, 2021. Nick is just chilling on IG Live about to grab a Big Mac, and his fans start asking him about AMP. He proceeds to say this. AMP doesn't want smoke, bro. I've talked to them guys. They say they don't want any smoke. I think they're, like, nervous or something. Duke and AMP ignore these shots completely, and everything seems to blow over for an entire month. Everything is calm between both sides, and you would think that it's all over. Well, that is until Nick starts wilding again. August 13th, 2021. Nick goes on his Instagram Live to promote his upcoming game against Cam Wilder, and decides to bring up the whole AMP situation again. Keep in mind, this is like a month after those whole first interactions bro these dudes are and bro talking like a month back bro i've seen people sending me screenshot dms saying we suck as shit i dm duke dennis whatever the fuck his name is told him what's up bro let's play and then he replied back and he's like but we don't hoop like that the fuck you talking for then bro don't say shit then that's weird bro that's fucking weird bro so duke responds to this again on his ig story saying this bro i done told this nigga already bro phantom don't hoop bro I don't who I don't give a fuck about who, so I don't know why the fuck this nigga still got our name. In but he don't know how to dig hard. But if the nigga wanna hoop that bad, tell the nigga he should have made it to the NBA, <laughs> go overseas or something, nigga. Now, this clip from his Instagram story was absolutely viral, getting over a million views on TikTok and over half a million on YouTube Shorts. When this blows up all over the internet, Nick responds back with this.
this, obviously pissed out of his mind. Imagine talking shit and then getting scared. What a baby. What a baby. Baby boy, you're my little baby boy, you know that? My little son. What you want for dinner tonight, son? Almost overnight, the beef just explodes again and everyone is talking about it. Even Carlos, one of Nick's teammates on the Savage Squad, chimes in on the whole situation. What are you gonna do with Duke Dennis? Don't even, don't even play basketball, he only plays football. The worst team you got, you got the rest of the AMP. Well, apparently Carlos got confused and thought that Duke was already set to play against them and was gearing up with TikToker Cam Wilder, which just wasn't happening. Like wasn't happening at all like there was never once said that Duke was gonna be playing with them like I don't know where he got that impression at all but nonetheless that's what Carlos had to say <laughs> now throughout this week Nick just starts absolutely wilding on Duke on his Instagram I'm talking about literally wilding he posts photos calling Duke his son multiple times and then he goes on Instagram live with a gigantic blunt simply for the purpose of calling Duke a female dog There's a one thing I want to tell you guys, right? Very, 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 very important thing. One thing is on the same. Duke Dennis, you're a bitch. Oh my god. The next day, Duke responds once again on his Twitch live. He says he's never reacting to another Nick video again. It says Nick just won't get off his nutsack. Listen, bro. I will never react to another Nick I reacted to one video, bruh. And ever since then, bruh, the nigga will not get off my nuts. Like, the nigga will not get off my nuts, bruh. I found out he was weird. I see he weird as hell. He not my friend. I'm not his friend. I'm not reacting to his videos. He don't react to mine. We just don't know each other, bruh. It should be no reason why we should be saying anything bad about each other type shit. We don't know each other, all right? That's what I'm talking about. So who the fuck is NYC Carter? Essentially, Duke says Nick weird, and he said that they don't even know each other. Pretty sure he doesn't even want to entertain Nick anymore, and he just wants this whole situation to stop because he doesn't see a reason why this is going on. But this is also Nick Riz we're talking about. The same dude who completely bit the absolute life out of Kenny Chow for giving him a bad ranking in a mock 1v1 tournament over an entire year ago. So obviously, Nick isn't the type to just let things go. So fast forward three days to August 25th, 2021. Nick starts wilding on his IG story again, and this time posts a Photoshop graphic literally stepping on Duke's head. He took a ton more shots at Duke that got deleted, but this was the only one I could still find on the internet. Duke is obviously very disrespected by this, and he feels that this shot went far beyond YouTube content. Instead of trying to go back and forth through these Instagram stories, Duke actually goes all in and DMs him directly. Keep in mind, Instagram DMs are private, so he sends him a message that's only between him and Nick. I actually happen to have this message, and in this DM, Duke literally tells Nick that he's gonna punch him in his shit. Now, you might be wondering, yo Daco, how the heck do you have the DM between these two? Aren't these supposed to be private? Are you hacking them? Well, no, I'm not hacking them. And you would be right to say these are supposed to be private, because they are. The way I got this is because Nick actually leaked these DMs, like literally posted it on his Instagram story for 500,000 followers to see. If you don't already know, it's kind of an unwritten rule to never leak Instagram DMs, especially amongst content creators or people with clout. But Nick just said, f*** that rule, I want to smoke. So after leaking the DM, he proceeds to message Duke back and call him a little boy. And then he goes on his Instagram story to say that when he sees Duke in person, he's going to call cap on all of Duke's threats. I can't wait for two and a half weeks to go by and we're in the same room. I'm I'm gonna walk up to this man, stick a camera in his face and say, Lil Dookie, what you gonna do, little boy? I guarantee you, he go, aw, dude, where the fucking, uh, where the right now, bro, I can't, I can't do that shit. Now, after this, the tensions between the two fan bases got literally insane. Like, I'm talking about, if you saw this Instagram story when it first came out, you could dang your feel it in your body. Oh, okay, I'm exaggerating right now. This is literally YouTube beef we're talking about. Everyone was just thoroughly entertained, but just bear with me for the video. <laughs> everybody, and I mean everybody, was tuning into this. Duke and Nick's fan bases absolutely absolutely went to war. And because both of these guys have diehard fan bases, the fans literally thought that they were fighting themselves. So tension skyrocketed and all eyes are on Duke Dennis to respond. And he doesn't hesitate to do so. Duke hops on Instagram live to say this. Literally everybody in the YouTube industry was in this live stream and the chat was going crazy. Bro, like, I thought it was for content at first, but when he said what he said, I'm like, bro, you really got that? Bro, you really talking like that? That's why I said, bro, when I see you, I'm punching your shit, nigga. You talking out the side of your neck, so I'ma really show you like what the business is and the last thing I want is for me to have to fucking overreact and tell my homeboys, hey, pull up, nigga, X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? This shit is weird, bruh. It's a different line when it's YouTube 
in real life. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking. But so Duke can't see any of the comments of Nick's posting because he doesn't follow him on Instagram. For some reason, that's just how Instagram Live works. I, I don't know why, but that's just how it works. But even though he can't see him, he proceeds to try to squash it by just talking to the chat. So he has no clue that Nick is literally just going crazy on him. It was never a beef for me, but hopefully you down to just like end all this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, for whatever I said, bro, I, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? So. I need to stop looking at the screen. Bro. He, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, bro. That's it, bro. Hey, hey, bud. Hey, look, hey, Dre. I'm finna pull up on y'all. I'm finna pull up on y'all right now, but, bro, when I get there, don't even clown me, bro. Don't even goddamn, you know what I'm saying? MP Knight, you really goddamn, you know what I'm saying? So Nick sees that Duke's apologizing and takes it as if he won the battle. So he just absolutely starts going in. A lot of Duke's supporters are even trying to tell him that Nick's talking crazy in the comments, but Duke literally just can't see it. It's honestly kind of tough to watch because you can just tell that Duke is really just trying to squash this and be adults about the situation, but Nick is just not having any of that. And the fact that Duke's not responding makes Nick go even harder. This is really tough because Duke can't even respond. Bro, I don't see Nick, bro. I swear to God. I'm just trying to like, goddamn, get this whole shit over with before I pull up with my own boy. Stop saying this smoke, bro. There is no smoke, bro. Hey, I hope my fans don't be like, goddamn, sending that man no hate or nothing like that. That's weird, too. So essentially, Duke gets his reasoning for why he said what he said, saying that he initially thought everything was for content. Remember that keyword from the beginning? And he actually thought it was kind of funny at first, but he felt like Nick crossed the line. And so now he was just standing up for himself when he felt the disrespect went too far. And then afterwards, he apologizes for saying he was gonna punch Nick in his shit and tries to just be adults and squash the whole thing. Pretty much because Duke was apologizing, Nick felt like he won the battle. This Instagram live was so strongly viewed that it got reposted by different plug channels over a hundred times. This is still crazy to me. I didn't even know that there was a hundred plug channels like what the f right when duke ended his live nick proceeded to have what he felt was a celebratory blunt on his instagram story then he would proceed to say that he's smoking on that duke dennis pack i'm sitting here thinking god damn how many packs of, how many packs how many actual packs am i smoking on right now It's actually crazy how close this YouTube stuff is getting to the rap game. You usually only see these type of beef shenanigans in hip hop, especially like smoking on somebody's pack. That's usually for like drive-by shootings, not, um, you know, Instagram lives, but this is amazing entertainment. And this leads us to where we pretty much are now. Duke has decided to just let everything go and focus on his own grind. And Nick is still doing his wild shenanigans. It still looks like A&P for Savage Squad is never gonna happen. And honestly, I don't think it should. I understand all the viewers are probably angry at me. Like, what? I wanna see this game, what are you talking about? But you gotta think, what type of precedent would this set for A&P? Not only is A&P not a hoop group, but if A&P decides to play Nick Briz, then that's literally just telling anybody that in order to get in a video of A&P, all you gotta do is disrespect them. And a P seems to be very serious about keeping things positive with their brand, so it just wouldn't be good business to play against Nick's team. However, at the end of the day, this could all just be for content, and this could be a genius marketing move on Nick's part. By curating this beef with a &P, Nick has become somewhat relevant within a &P's fan base. He definitely got a lot more eyes on him than he had before. Not saying a &P gave Nick all his clout, because Nick obviously had a lot of clout beforehand, but it's pretty safe to say that he did gain a lot of traction from a &P. so this could have been all in his plan to be a genius marketing move. But nonetheless, I still don't think that they should play. Because regardless of wanting retaliation, I feel that when business is involved, sometimes you gotta just let things go. Just like Duke did in this situation. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know which side you guys are on. Nick Briz or Duke Dennis? Do you think Nick and AMP should play against each other? Do you think Nick's in the right in this situation or do you think Duke is? Also, let me know who you think would win in the 1v1. Nick or Duke Dennis? Because it's like a freaking reality TV show. So that's where I stand. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, make Make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is my fifth YouTube video ever and I love doing this. I spent a lot of time on it. The support of this channel has literally been insane. We gained over 4,000 subscribers in our first month and I can't thank you guys enough. Also hit that like button. It really helps me in the search engine and the algorithm and all that concerning I'm a new channel. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and let me know what else you guys want me to see. Every video that I post on here is actually recommended from you guys so that's what I try to do. Also make sure to check out one of these videos you haven't already. They're just as fire as this one if not even better. This has been another episode of DACA. I hope you guys guys enjoyed and without further ado I'm out peace